Hello, welcome to lesson four, exercise one. Here we're going to write a program that asks the user to enter a guess for your age. Uh, if the user types in the correct answer, then we're going to display a message saying that they were correct. And if uh, they weren't correct, we're going to show a message saying that their guess was wrong. And I'm going to ask you to use your actual age in this program. So um, it's a great example of when we need to use if statements along with else, else statements, which we've learned about in the lesson here. All right, so uh, we're going to accept keyboard input. So the first thing we need to do is import the java.util.scanner, and that's going to allow us to use the scanner method to uh, have keyboard input to type in integers, which is going to represent an age. And inside the main method, we have the very first thing we need. We're declaring uh, uh, or we're instantiating a uh, keyboard input is the name of our scanner object. That's what we're going to use to pull in the information from the keyboard. So we're creating a new object here. Uh, we've done that before many times. We're going to need that every time we read in from the keyboard in a program. And then we have a few integers here. Uh, we have one called my age. My current age actually is 37. So if your age is you know, 25, you'd put that here. This is going to hold the correct answer. Uh, ultimately, we're going to compare against this number to see if the user was correct. We'll also need another integer. This one is called age guess. This is the one that they're going to type in from the keyboard. So that's their guess. All right, then we print something out to the screen. Please enter a guess for my age. And then this statement right here, this entire thing, is what actually reads the guess in. Uh, we wrap it around an if statement. What we're doing here is checking to see that there's an integer. That's why it says has next integer. This is a method as part of the scanner class. We've used it before to check and see if the if what the user has entered is actually an integer. So if, uh, if from, from this keyboard input method that we've created, there's an integer waiting to be read, if that's true, then we will read it in uh, from that same keyboard. We're going to read the next integer available. All right. And then once we get that in there, we're going to store the number that we pull into the variable that we've created called age guess. So this whole line is just checking to see if there's an integer there. And then if so, pulling it in and storing it into that variable. Uh, then we have a pair of statements, if and else. Okay, notice it's like it's one or the other. If this one is true, then you're going to do something. If it's not true, then you'll do what's in the else category. It's going to bounce between one or the other, as we talked about in the lesson. So if the guess that we pull in is equal to the age up here, 37 in this case, my age, then we're going to do the following statements. We're going to print out you guessed, and we're going to print out the number that they typed in, uh, and then we're going to print out you are correct. All right, and notice that we have this wrapped up in a block here. We have an opening curly and a closing curly down here for this if statement. Then we have an else with an, with an opening curly and a closing curly here. And if we bounce down to the else statement, it says you guessed and we'll print their guess. You are wrong. So when you see if and else, you need to just realize that only one of these guys is going to happen. If this is true, you'll do this. If it's not true, then we're just going to fall through and execute this. So either you're right or you're wrong in this case. And that's why we use it. And that's the whole program. So we'll save it and we will run it here and it says please enter a guess for my age now obviously my current age is 37 so let's go ahead and first type in 37 and we'll hit enter you guess 37 you are correct so in this particular uh, path through the program we've been executing this if statement here because the guess that I typed in is equal to what uh, my actual age is so this is why we uh, execute that block of code but notice that when we did that we did not execute the else statement that's only done if the if is not executed. It's one or the other. It's not both of them. So we skip over the else in that case, in other words. So let me go ahead and bounce through here and say that my age is 10 years old. Uh, you guessed 10. You are wrong. So in that case, we executed this block of code. You guessed 10. You are wrong. In that case, we did not execute the first block because we didn't guess the correct age. So that's one way to do it. Your, uh, your uh, version may look slightly different. Um, of course, there's lots of different variations when you do programming, but this is the basic idea. You want to read something in from the keyboard. You want to check and see if it's correct. If it is, print something out. Else, print something else out. And, and really, since there's only two paths through this program, either you're correct or you're not correct, then it's a perfect example for when we might use an if-else statement pair.